The Sound of Freedom. That, my friends, was The Sound of Freedom. But you know, there's another Sound of Freedom that I was just able to witness up close and personal yesterday. And here it is. Yesterday, I had the great opportunity to go out on the flight deck in my uh, local uh, Air Force Base, and what an amazing display of freedom. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, just as I consider precious metals to be something that gives me freedom, I also view our country's military as something that brings us freedom. And in particular, since this is such uh, a close base to my location, and I had the privilege of being out on the base yesterday, I just wanted to give you some highlights of these amazing aircraft. The aircraft that you see pictured here are the uh, A-10 Thunderbolt IIs. Uh, these are stationed in Gowan Field in Boise, Idaho, and are really amazing, amazing airplanes. They they maneuver very, very well. In fact, I spend a lot of time, as many of you know, out in the desert, and I have seen these A-10s come flying over me at very low altitudes, sometimes I think as low as five or 600 feet. They are very maneuverable even below that, you know, thousand foot threshold. And uh, I, I think the pilots that pilot these, these things are extremely talented, men and women. Um, these airplanes can survive direct hits from, you know, armor-piercing uh, projectiles, explosive projectiles. They have self-sealing fuel cells, so they can take, <laughs> you know, direct hits and put those um, uh, otherwise, you know, aircraft-destroying rounds out of commission by sealing up with some foam. Um, it's just, it's, it's an amazing feat of technology. The avionics equipment is amazing. They have communication, internal nav, GPS, you know, fire control, weapons delivery, all the rockets, um, the 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, I think it, um, it, it actually on the A-10, it, the 20 millimeter I think was replaced with a 30 millimeter. So they have a 30 millimeter cannon and it can fire, are you ready for this? 3,900 rounds a minute. Imagine that. <laughs> and, and some of you have seen the videos of these things, and they'll be flying down, and they'll just strafe a, a row of tanks, and you'll just hear it go, Vrap! and that's firing off literally hundreds and hundreds of rounds uh, in that little short burst. Um, they also carry uh, laser-guided munitions, Sidewinder missiles, Maverick missiles. Um, they're pretty just you know, amazing. I, I, I get a little... Um, befuddled in even talking about them because until you're up close and personal, they kind of look cool from a distance. You see them flying around if you're around any type of Air Force base uh, or maybe they're uh, being moved from one base to another and you might get lucky enough to see them flying you know, over your town or something like that. But uh, to see these up close, and I had a real nice chance to go around and walk around these A-10s and take some pictures, and I'll share some of those with you. Uh, what amazing technology. Uh, so there's just something about these aircraft. And I've seen, you know, I've been up close in the F-4 Phantom, and those used to be stationed here as well. I've been up close in the F-16s and F-15s, F-14s. There's just something about this A-10. It is just such a sexy beast. And I appreciate our airmen and women, our military men and women around the world and around my community for making me feel safe. And so when I hear something taxiing on a runway, when I hear the sound of the jets overhead, that to me is the sound of freedom. Much like this gives me the sound of freedom as I drop those onto the desk. Listen to this. Here's another sound of freedom. If I can get it right without dropping it. 
Well, so much for that. I dropped one of them. So there's the sound of freedom. I'll put up another tube here, I guess. <laughs> but these also, you know, provide freedom, don't they? I think they do. Uh, just as much as our military guarantees us and protects us from certain threats, uh, domestic and abroad, I think savings, savings in the form of silver and gold, also provide uh, protection and give us freedom because let's face it if you're paying attention at all and by the way this isn't political this is just factual if you're paying attention at all every single person in this country should recognize that our freedoms are being jeopardized our freedoms folks and I don't like waxing <laughs> political and so I won't do so in this particular video but I hope people are paying attention uh, when you have groups like the ACLU <laughs> coming out saying uh, it's not okay to shut down these speech platforms this is a dangerous slippery slope I think we ought to be paying attention it's our freedoms folks our freedoms are under attack and look I'm not saying it's any one singular event our freedoms have been under attack for years. It's not just something that's happening the last two or three or four or eight or 12 years. It's been happening since just about the institution, the creation of that document, the Constitution of the United States, with its amendments. So, you know, I, I love this country. I love the sound of freedom. What are your thoughts about freedom? Put them in the comments below. I really don't want to make this political commentary. I don't think it's necessary. I think political commentary is, is meant, unfortunately, to be divisive. And I think the politics of the day is meant to keep us at each other's throats. And you know what? We're too good for that. And remember, every time you're pointing a finger and you're wagging a finger at somebody, there's three fingers pointing back right at you. That's something we need to remember, every single one of us in this country. God bless America, because we need it. We need those blessings. Uh, we really, really do. I really enjoy the freedom that comes from being able to stack precious metals, whether it's silver or gold. And admittedly, I've been stacking a lot more gold than I have silver. Uh, I think I mentioned in another video that I bought probably my last silver purchases that I'll buy for some time uh, this last uh, quarter of last year and so I'm going to be focusing on gold and it looks like at least as of today uh, the prices are going down 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 I think my last check on gold it was like 1830 an ounce and silver was around 24 or something an ounce uh, it'll be really curious to see and it's kind of counterintuitive right and, and I know there's going to be people are going to say oh but vertical it's it's because of manipulation and because of this and because of that I know we think we know what it is, but do we really? Do any of us, any of us really know what's going on? I, I, I've studied a lot of charts. I've studied a lot of corollaries. I've studied a lot of comparisons. I've studied a lot of world events. And candidly, uh, but for just a few you know, isolated incidences in the world, I don't find a whole lot that makes sense to me about what the prices do on these things. They just announced $1.9 trillion in spending. And every one of us knows that that just means that the Fed is going to be firing up the printing presses and going, here's money, throw money at this program, throw money at that program, throw money at these people, throw money at those people. Don't you think that should just make prices of precious metals if we use our, our you know customary historic logic that that should make the price of precious metals just explode and go through the roof? Yeah, you'd think so. You'd think so. But it isn't, is it? It's going the other way. Now, when those programs actually get signed into law and become effective, uh, maybe we're going to see a small bump. I don't know. But I've given up. Vertical has given up 
trying to figure out where prices are going to go. I'll continue to be entertained by your folks' videos about what you think, you know, what theory is this and what manipulation is there and, and this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, I don't think any of us really, truly knows. I don't care how big your channel is. I don't care how small your channel is. I don't care where you've worked in the past, and I don't care uh, where you work today. I, I just don't think any of us can really make a whole lot of sense of it. Otherwise, we'd be getting rich on precious metals, and we're not. We're not, right? Very few of us are making any money on these things, and it's not because, for lack of trying, I see people posting stuff for sale every day, and yeah, you might make $10 here, $8 there, $30 here, $500 there, but you're not making you know five or $10,000 a month for the most part unless you're a volume dealer, right? Um, but for those of us in this community, we're, we're buying at 200 and selling it at 210, or we're buying it at 18 and selling it at 25, or whatever the facts are. But it's just little money here and little money there. But what this does is it gives us freedom, right? Because these have value. These are worth something. And best I can tell, they'll always be worth something. Best I can tell. Why do I think that and feel fairly secure in that? Because gold and silver have been around for thousands of years. They have been around longer than any other monetary system, any country's fiat, <laughs> any uh, other type of medium of exchange. It's, it defeats, I think, the oldest profession. <laughs> and no, it's not lawyers. Uh, so yeah, folks, it's interesting, isn't it? It's really, really interesting. But love me some gold and silver. I hope you folks are doing well. What are your thoughts about the sound of freedom? Put it in the comments below. Do you like hearing the sound of freedom in the form of precious metals? And how about our military jets? Those things fascinate me. And that also is the sound of freedom. Vertical Stacker, till next time.